It's like Christmas came early. That's the case for at least 19 village mayors who were handed keys to their brand new 2015 Toyota Tacoma pickup truck. This one, they're going to put to good use to uh, enhance our recycling programs in all the villages that are actually going very strong. The vehicles were purchased through using the Recycling Revolving Fund from the Guam Environmental Protection Agency. Mayor's Council of Guam Executive Director Angel Sablan says the vehicles cost $27,000 each. If you notice now, a lot of the villages are much, much cleaner uh, than they were before. And that's because we're using a lot of the funds from EPA to make sure that this happens. We're removing all the junk, uh, the abandoned vehicles, the loose metals, uh, batteries, tires, uh, electronic equipment, whatever it is that we can use out of the EPA funds we are using for. Guam EPA Administrator Eric Palacios says about $2.5 million was given from the fund to help the mayors with typhoon cleanup work and purchase other heavy equipment as well. And uh, I mean it's important that we support the mayor's council and our mayors because from an environmental standpoint they're able to do so much that we are not able to do. They are technically our eyes and ears out in each district and the work that they perform is critical not just for their district but for the island uh, as a whole. And so anything that we can do to continue to support them, we want to do that. And whether it's to help pick up leftover debris or to help the smaller houses with their recycling efforts, Mayor Council of Guam President and Agani Heights Mayor Paul McDonald says these vehicles will be put to good use. I'm sure that every mayor uh, needs this uh, pickup truck because uh, it's been uh, uh, maybe years since we had uh, some new trucks distributed to the, the mayors. The equipment, meanwhile, will also be used to combat illegal dumping throughout the villages. There's so many illegal, and, and Eric will tell you, there's so much illegal trash and dumping around the island. And we're not, we don't want to encourage it by saying we're going to come and pick them up uh, wherever they're at, but uh, certainly we can't just leave them there either. So we go out and, and pick them up, and hopefully one day, we will catch those people that are doing uh, those illegal dumping. The Recycling Revolving Fund generates its revenues from vehicle registration fees. Meanwhile, these 19 vehicles are just the start as the mayors can expect another 19 more trucks next month. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.